So this is Cheryl from Homestead in the Highlands. But I'm not in the Highlands, I'm in Leeds, which is north of England. And I'm travelling down to Sussex and at six o'clock this morning, I knocked on the door at Monty's. And <laughs> 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 let me in, let me in. So he said I should do a garden tour of his garden, which is quite funny because I've spent most of the time saying, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? Okay, right, quick garden tour because... It's nearly seven o'clock. I've got peacocks in the back of my car. These. These are chickens. I know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> and if you put your fingers in, the hens jump up at you. It's really funny. <laughs> so we have here something I never thought I would see growing in England, let alone the north of England. These are gourds. Which I'm used to them being made into birdhouses. But uh, they eat them. They're starting to actually th show some fruit. Um, a lot of this stuff, I don't know. There's veggies. There's vegetables. There's lots of vegetables. These are carrots. I know carrots because I can't grow them. Uh, I know, he's, he loves my videos. That's a herb. Mint. Mint? <laughs> mint. Does it smell really minty? You sure? Yeah, that's mint. I can smell it from here. That's mint. <laughs> it smells like the one that I have that I didn't think was mint. Oh, okay, <laughs> mint. Whatever. It's it's called Egyptian mint. Egyptian mint. That's why it smells different. You see, <laughs> it does to me anyway. So, should we go in your greenhouse? Yeah. Quickly, little look in the greenhouse. By the way, excuse my clothes and my look. I've been driving since nine o'clock last night. <sighs> Now, he has some tomatoes. However, mine, up in North Scotland, are ahead of Monty's because he hasn't got any baby tomatoes growing yet, and I have. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay, sorry. <laughs> He's got one. I've got one. I was wrong. <laughs> there, are some, there are some peppers. I have peppers already growing. Can't see any here yet. No, you're, you're ahead of me there. <laughs> In the north of Scotland where it's colder. This is just stuff. He's got his chilies in here and he's got all sorts and I love this greenhouse. I love wooden greenhouses. Mine's aluminium and I don't know how it stayed put in the highlands. Uh, this, very exciting. He has ginger and he's very excited about his ginger. And down here he has some Flowers that I've grown and cannot for the life of me remember the name of. Are they, um... They're not flowers. Livingston Days? No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> what are they, then? They're, they're, they're another type of veg vegetable. Uh, they're called denga in uh, in Bangla. Okay, I've never heard of them. <laughs> That's I, some... I think it's called amaranth in English. No, nope, never heard of them. <laughs> I tell you, I'm, I am the worst gardener in the world. <laughs> Give me the animals, I'm fine. But, you know, I like trying and I love learning about these new things. So, look, a lot. He's got a lot crammed into a tiny, well, it's not actually tiny, it's a nice big garden. He's got a lot crammed in here. Lots of potatoes growing in tyres. And anybody, that's not potato. Yeah. That's potato. Yeah. Weird. Um, anybody who says you shouldn't grow food in tyres... It's, it's not actually true. There's no leakage whatsoever of um, the rubbers going in. That's just a myth. Um, my father-in-law's a toxicologist. My mother-in-law's a biochemist. They're also very keen gardeners. I've asked them about this. And as they said, if a tyre is going to degrade by sitting on the ground, having plants in it, you wouldn't be able to drive your car more than 10 miles. So do not worry about having tyres for your food. That's giving me a bit of reassurance, that. Yeah. Well, Ashley's also I'll, a scientist, and his sister's a medical doctor, so, you know. Because I was going to get rid of the tyres after this season, because I spoke to some, some other people that... Um, I've been growing in these tyres for a few years, but um, yeah. I spoke to a few other people, and they were giving me some serious warnings, so... It's uh, not true. Uh, onions, his onions are ahead of mine, that's for sure. Especially that big one over there. He's probably going to tell me next they're not onions. No, they are onions. <laughs> Yay! Okay, right. <laughs> more tomatoes, more other stuff I don't know. More onions. Now, 
I was about to say this is lettuce. This isn't Swiss chard. Yep. I don't even grow Swiss chard, and I know Swiss chard. <laughs> now, interesting thing about Swiss chard, which is the same with kale, is the further north you are, the sweeter it tastes. Mmm. Sweeter than when I grew it in Sussex. More onions. Beans. Oh, yeah. Weird beans. What make are these? These are called hyacinth beans. Hyacinth beans. Yeah. But um, they've suffered a bit with the cold. They've, re they've, they've, they've really suffered with the cold. Unfortunately, it has been very cold up here. So, yeah. Squash! They're growing. More gourds. I can't wait to see how these turn out. Another gourd. Corn. Squash. Two different beds next to each other, planted out different times. Very different in how they're growing. This one was planted early June. It's right before we had a very cold snap. That one was planted out at the end of June, after the cold snap, and he's doing so much better. So there you go. If you live in this part of England, plant out late. If you live where I live, grow everything in the house, don't plant out. Otherwise, <laughs> the goat eats it. We have some lovely peas. Don't smell. <laughs> we have poppies, which I like poppies. Huge pile of um, wood chips. I could do with a big pile of wood chips like that. Now he's already been harvesting his potatoes. I'm probably a month or two off harvesting potatoes. More onions, obviously. Salad onions, green onions, spring onions. Oh, the Americans have so many different words for them. There was another word for them I found out yesterday. S scallions. Scallions. There you go. And more onions. Obviously, like me, they use a lot of onions. <laughs> Love onions. Now, I've already pinched some strawberries. He's got a lot of strawberries. Actually, got potatoes that are flowering. That's nice. Hmm. Still eat, still. The taste of the ch Swiss chard in my mouth. It's nice. More tomatoes. Oh, we've got baby tomatoes. Look at this. You have two little ditty baby tomatoes. It could be future happy snacks. What else? Bigger onions. Another gourd, I guess. <laughs> Gourds everywhere. It's great. And there you go. There's flowers up there. There's family area up there. <sighs> There's a lot in here. Definitely better than I can do. <laughs> Thank you for letting me see you around. Thank you for giving us a tour. <laughs> no problem. Bye. Uh-uh.